Reports are stating that Antonio Conte is interested in an Inter and Turkish playmaker. Tottenham target Josko Gavardio is valued at £42 million and reports are stating he could well be Antonio Conte's fourth summer signing. Reports in Spain are stating that Spurs target Rafinha wants an extra few days to think about his next club uh, because he wants to see if Barcelona can raise the funds for him as personal terms have been confirmed. And Tottenham Hotspur target Felix has come out and said a departure from Atletico Madrid is not on the table this summer. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Now, in the last episode, I went through a report from the Daily Mail stating that Tottenham had inquired about Josko Gavardio of RB Leipzig. Well, a report has just come out from the Daily Express and they have now given an amount of money that Spurs would have to pay if we were to sign the defender. It states that Tottenham have submitted an inquiry for £42 million target as Antonio Conte looks to land fourth signing. Antonio Conte is searching for the fourth signing of his summer overhaul at Tottenham. It states that Tottenham Hotspur have contacted RB Leipzig over the potential signing of Josko Gavardio as Antonio Conte searches for a left-sided centre-back to add to his summer overhaul. Antonio Conte has already made five signings in his two transfer windows as Tottenham Hotspur head coach and he wants three more before the start of the new season. In this report from the Express, it states that the North London club are in progressing talks with Middlesbrough over right-back Jed Spence, who wants to join after a successful loan spell at Nottingham Forest last season. Rafinha and Richarlison feature prominently in links to attackers, while Alessandro Bastoni, Pau Torres and Gavardio are all among Antonio Conte's centre-half targets. It then states that Tottenham have now launched their pursuit of Gavardio by approaching RB Leipzig with an inquiry. However, the Bundesliga club won't feel pressured into cashing in on the defender, considering he signed a contract until 2026 when joining the club for £17 million from Dynamo Zagreb last summer. The 20-year-old cap 10 times for Croatia emerged as one of Europe's most exciting young defenders in his first season in Germany. He made 46 appearances for RB Leipzig last term, featuring in all six of their Champions League group stage games against Manchester City, PSG and Club Bruges. He already boasts significant experience in European football, playing in the Europa League for Zagreb and RB Leipzig. And Antonio Conte will be confident he can improve and bring balance to his back three system next season alongside Christian Romero and Eric Dyer. The report then goes on to talk about valuation and it states that Gavardio is understood to be valued at around £42 million, which would likely make him one of Tottenham's most expensive signings of the transfer window. But his current quality and undeniable potential could make him uh, seem like a worthy investment early in Antonio Conte's rebuild. And he would certainly be interested in linking up with the Italian coach in the Champions League. The report then states, depending on Antonio Conte's eagerness to recruit Gavardio, he could very well be the fourth signing of a hectic summer transfer window. And if he is next to arrive through the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium door, the Premier League winning coach's side could be starting to look like one capable of challenging themselves. Another report has just been published by the Daily Express, this time about lead star Rafinha. They are stating that Rafinha makes transfer decision affecting Arsenal and Spurs after Barcelona agent meeting. Rafinha looks set to leave Leeds this summer with Barcelona, Arsenal, Tottenham and Chelsea all interested in the Brazilian star. The report states that Rafinha has decided he's prepared to wait an extra few days for Barcelona to decide whether they can finance a transfer this summer amid firm interest from Arsenal, Tottenham and Chelsea, according to reports in Spain. The highly rated Brazilian winger, who netted 11 times in the Premier League last season, would favour joining the Catalan giants, but their financial struggles have left any move hanging in the balance.
Rafinha is already understood to have agreed personal terms with Barcelona, but they cannot afford to pay the money that Leeds are currently asking for. Barcelona were seemingly banking on Leeds' relegation from the top flight, which would have triggered a £21 million relegation clause in his contract. But Leeds' successful survival bid blew Barcelona's plans apart and now they will have to pay upwards of £50 million to sign him. And according to uh, Spanish newspaper Sport, Rafinha's agent Deco recently met with Barcelona Chiefs in Ibiza to discuss a transfer. It then states, following the meeting, Rafinha has reportedly decided he wants to give Barcelona some extra time to try and put together a proposal. If they are to satisfy Leeds' valuation, he would be willing to seal a move to the new camp over a Premier League switch to Arsenal, Tottenham or Chelsea. That comes as a blow to all three English suitors who are beginning to intensify their efforts to sign the 25-year-old. Later on in this report from the Daily Express, it says that Spurs are also expected to make a move for Rafinha, although Everton's Richarlison is of greater interest to the North London side. Rafinha has already been clear that he wants to ensure he is playing regularly ahead of the World Cup in Qatar. Now, there were a number of reports published last week in Europe um, all about the possible departure of Jao Felix uh, from Atletico Madrid, and he was also linked to a move to Tottenham. Well, the player has actually come out and said a departure from Atletico is not on the table. I'm fine and focused on Atletico. I'm calm about the future, aware of what I can do. I'm happy with myself. Now, a report has just been published in Italy and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte is very interested in Inter Milan and Turkish playmaker Hakan Chauhanulu this summer and are ready to offer either Giovanni Lo Celso or Davinson Sanchez in part exchange. Now, my thoughts on all of these stories in this episode, of course, we are being linked to so many players at the moment, you know, report after report after report. Of course, Fabio Prasci is actively talking to many agents as well, trying to sign players, trying to offload some Spurs players as well, which I'm sure will happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, let's start by talking about the Josco Gavardio one, a very decent defender. £42 million is being reported uh, for the RB Leipzig defender, uh, who, of course, plays... Uh, you know, left side of the central defence. Um, a very, very good player. Had a brilliant season last season at RB Leipzig uh, in the Bundesliga. Uh, and £42 million don't seem a bad fee for him. You know, when you think back a couple of years ago, we paid £42 million for Davinson Sanchez, who could maybe head out the door this summer. Uh, reports in Spain are stating that Spurs target Rafinha wants an extra few days. I'm not at all surprised by this. I'm actually expecting Rafinha to go to Barcelona. Uh, I've had Fabrizio Romano on this channel um, a couple of times in the last month or so. He said, um, you know, literally that, um, you know, personal terms have been agreed with Barcelona uh, through his agent uh, back in January. So I'm expecting that Rafinha will be a Barcelona player, uh, you know, very, very soon if they can get the money together, which I'm sure that they will. Uh, so I'd be very surprised to see Rafinha in the Premier League next season. Certainly, uh, you know, not in a Spurs shirt. One transfer I can see happening, though, and I'm quite excited about it, is the Richarlison one. I think if Tottenham Hotspur can offer, you know, one or two players um, in exchange and uh, offer the money as well, I think Richarlison will become a Spurs player. And I hope he does. Um, a very versatile forward, can play on the left, can play on the right, can play through the middle. I think that he is just the type of player that Antonio Conte wants at Spurs as well. The Felix one, not at all surprised by that. Didn't ever see him coming. Um, but I expect another uh, very busy few weeks uh, for Tottenham, you know, perhaps one or two players will head out the door before we fly to South Korea. And I'm certainly hoping and expecting one, two or three signings in in the next 14 days. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.